Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see my ascendant brothers and sisters what the week ahead has in store for us. This week your destiny card is The star card, hope, optimism, joy. Uh, revelation is actually the word that I'm hearing from this. I don't know why, there's something this week that's gonna be revealed to you and it's going to put you at ease. If there's something that has been held in your body or in your lifescape and you've been feeling the tension from it, this week is about, because the star card represents hope, it represents some form of revelation. It represents, it represents some form of revelation that's coming through that is going to put you at ease. Ultimately, um, the star card representing hope, it always suggests, because this card comes after the tower, right? So it kind of suggests that we've had all of those experiences, we've had all of the tough stuff, and it's like, okay, you know what, now that's done, now that I've had the revelation, I now find the peace in it, or after a difficult time, I find the hope, right? So this week, the revelation itself is hope that there is hope for your future, that your future is bright. And even if it doesn't feel like that at this moment in time, the star card is saying, keep your eye fixed on the future. Keep your gaze fixed on the prize, on the goal. Wherever it is that you feel yourself pulled in life, go that way because that is ultimately where you are striving to end up. If you haven't seen it yet as well, don't forget to check out your uh, Solar Eclipse special. I think it's gonna be really, really important for you to know the information on there. So let's have a look, see at the direction. How does this shape up? What does it relate to? Um, this week we get, <laughs> we got the tower card. Look at that, right? So really, really interesting, really interesting. Um, the tower card as a direction does suggest that this week will be full of revelations, right? It will be full of things that really set you on a different path from here on in. So this is an interesting one because usually, and the eclipse does unpack after, you know, over the course of three to six months. However, I really feel that this week in specific, you will be feeling um, a lot of this energy very, very quickly, right? It's almost like you're gonna have the event take place and you'll have all the stuff that comes after it, but there's a lot of revelation. There's a lot of information coming to light that is gonna completely set you on a totally different path, which is really, really interesting stuff. I mean, really interesting stuff. The other thing with the tower card as well, it does represent, um, you know, as I said, revelation and revolution as well. It does suggest that there will be some surprising instances that happen this week. Now, the star card represents the sign of Aquarius, right? Which is your direct opposite in the zodiac. Uh, then on top of that, the tower card has that Uranian energy about it. It brings sudden surprises, shocks. There's something as well that's going on here uh, that could be online. You know, you could be having talks with people through the airwaves or over the airwaves. My advice to you as well, if you see things or comments or whatever that trigger you this week, try to stand back from it right just take a moment where you step back but yeah it does look like especially with groups as well there could be something going on there and the feeling that i get from this is like you're learning information this week that is going to completely change your outlook on everything so let's have a look behind the scenes and this week we get the moon card right so in relation to the uh, the eclipse that's taking place even though it's a solar eclipse right because it's a new moon so with that said the moon card suggests that something from your past is going to be cleared up this week something from your past is coming up in some way shape or form it's really interesting because all of the readings this week have a very similar theme um you know <laughs> i don't think it's a coincidence at all uh, which i actually find fantastic it's a little bit um 
amazing but also a little bit terrifying the thing is with the insight card is behind the scenes is it kind of suggests especially with the moon card whatever it is that has held you captive in terms of fears this week you could have a moment where you're like wow that's a completely irrational fear and it's actually held me back in all of these ways it does suggest as well that something from your past is coming up this week so that you can have a stark look at it um, and this really does suggest that going forward you will have a lot more revelations about your personal journey through life it's going to be an interesting week for sure i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff let me know how it shapes up for you in the comments take care and i'll see you soon